In this video, I'll show you how to create a split object transition in DaVinci Resolve, step by step. We have two clips on the timeline where you want the transition. Right click, go to Retomy controls, and add a freeze frame. We only need about one and a half seconds, so cut the clip there. Once that's done, right click and choose Create Fusion Clip. Then place it at the end of the first clip. Then, disable the freeze frame on the remaining part. Once we're ready, let's jump into the Fusion page to build the transition. Copy the media in node with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V. Since we need to see the video while masking, connect the media in to both inputs of the merge node. Press Shift plus space and add a magic mask. With the plus picker, select the areas you want to mask. If there's too much detail, you can open the original media in the other viewer to check your selection. Once the mask is ready, track it forward and backward to cover the whole clip. When the tracking is done, switch back to the original node tree layout. Next, add a transform node after each of the media in nodes. This way we can control the object and the background separately, allowing us to move and animate them independently for the split transition effect. Let's start with the masked video. Add a keyframe where you want the movement to end, then go back to the beginning and add another one. From here, you can decide the direction of the transition, moving in from the top, bottom, left, or right, depending on the style you want. In this case, the object will slide in from the bottom, so we'll animate it by adjusting the Y value. Once that's done, move to the second transform node. Here the clip will slide in from left to right, so we'll animate it by adjusting the X value. Since we want the background to arrive a little later, move the ending keyframe a few frames forward. This delay creates a smoother and more dynamic transition. To make the movement look smoother, enable blur in the inspector and adjust it to your liking. You'll notice the blur is now applied to both clips, but since we only want it on one of them, we'll need to separate the effect. To fix this, add a background node and connect it with the output of the transition. Then merge it back into the other merge node. This way, the blur only applies to the transition itself, and just like that, our split object transition is complete. And that's it for the split object transition. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve tips. Thank you.